You might not remember this, but on the night of March 19th, 2003, a brand new late night talk show called Past My Bedtime with Donnie Dixon was premiering live to an audience of 40 million Americans. All right, cut to the band. Great, and now back on Donnie's wide. This was inside the control room five minutes into the premiere. A live TV broadcast is incredibly complex, which is why these technicians producing the show on the fly were the best in the business. They were ready for anything. Or so they thought. Camera two, widen out. Holy shit, guys, we're gonna pull this off. I mean, if you told me a 10 year old kid could host a late night show, I'd have said you were nuts, but Jesus, here we are. And cut to Donnie. Okay, you guys should know one thing about me. All right, let's focus up now. Ready for the president's feed? Ready. Patching in the president. Now. Boom. President George W. Bush is officially live with Donnie from the Oval Office. Well done, everyone. This is a late night first, folks. What's going on down there? We just lost video. I need eyes on the stage. Get me video back. Oh, Jesus, the audience sounds really angry. Okay, uh, bringing the video back up. Wait, it, is that? Holy shit. Mother of God. Uh, are, are we still live? Yeah, we are. Fuck. Holy shit, cut the feed. Cut the feed, cut yeah, the I'm feed! Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yo, we can't show this on live television. What have we done? We are all so fucked. My name is Philip Jackal. I'm a writer, journalist, and audio documentarian. Most of all, I'm a keeper of secrets. I've been sitting on this story for almost two decades, and it's finally time to tell it. This is Past My Bedtime, an oral history of the fastest failure in late night history. I was actually in the studio that fateful night in 2003. Back then, I was a hungry young journalist working on what I thought would be my big break. It was my first major magazine story, a profile of Donnie Dixon, the precocious 10-year-old host of Past My Bedtime, and it was going to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. For both Donnie and me, that night was supposed to launch our careers. Instead, it was the end of them. I never got my interview with Donnie. Mere minutes after its premiere, Donnie's show was violently pulled from the air and then abruptly canceled. Considering what happened at the end of those brief six minutes, it's no surprise. In fact, no one has seen Donnie Dixon in over a decade. America has chosen to forget Donnie Dixon. Some things are just too painful. But for those of us who were collateral damage, we don't have that luxury. We can't forget. That disastrous night of television was unlike anything ever broadcast before or since, and it's finally time to tell Donnie's story, because it is also my story. I still think about Donnie every day, but no one else does. I wondered, do kids today who are so obsessed with young YouTube and TikTok viral stars know anything about the original young viral star? I've come to a skate park in my neighborhood to talk to a group of teens huddled around a phone. Yo, check this out, check this out. Oh, oh shit. shit. Wait, go back, go back. That scooter went up his butt, yo. He's gonna have to get all new teeth and shit. <laughs> Could you tell me who you're watching on your phones? Cash Elbow. Pardon? Cash Elbow, duh. He's younger than us and has over 20 million followers or something. His videos are like so funny and good. Very cool. Very fetch. <laughs> Speaking of good videos, do you guys ever watch James Corden? Or maybe Jimmy Fallon? Any of the late night shows? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, late night hosts are old and corny, man. Huh. So you'd rather watch someone your own age? I guess. Well, what if I told you that a kid just like you once hosted a late night talk show? He was the most famous teen in America. Have you ever heard of Donnie Dixon? <laughs> Dicks in your mouth. What? <laughs> Dicks in my mouth? Sir, excuse me, please step back. You bothering these kids? What? No. Cops, run, run. Hey, get back here. We gotta get out of here, let's go. Sir. Neighbor called in to report a strange man out here recording video of kids playing. You know anything about that? Oh, that wasn't me. I'm only recording audio. This is an audio documentary. 